In Arcane Episode 3, Sokka leaves the window open to lure Vander's kids to their deaths along with their father. Vander the coward fled town with his children. And they were never seen again. Seems like overkill to me. Vander is his political rival, why kill the kids too? So I think Sokka was building an association between family and cowardice, family and selfishness, but this was the opposite of what Vander preached. Vander treated the Undercity like a family, no one gets left behind. But Sokka knew the opposite was already a growing narrative for Vander. They're just protecting you kids. Tyrants are always trying to get rid of anything else people could be loyal to besides the movement, the party, the state. That's why they attack religion, it's why they make family members write each other out. Forget anything else you could be loyal to, Sokka wanted the nation of Zon to be the only game in town. And I think also this was for eliminating potential rivals to his leadership. Once Vander died, Vi was the next logical candidate for leader, and this might have actually been Marcus's plan when he arrested Vi. Save her now and then prop her up to rival Soko and have someone reasonable to work with like race and work with Vander. But he didn't realize how quickly Soko would take over and then Vi just became a liability for him. Last Sunday's video goes much deeper into the role of family in Arcane, so click here to check that out.